So I've been regretting the day I had to make this recap, but the day has finally come, so here we go. So we've talked about how to properly set up an intimidating villain, but what happens when you fail to, aka what happened with A New Hope and Dark Vader. But before we get started, I want to quickly bring up some ground rules for the comment sections. So first off, be nice to the other people in the comment section. Please, I'm just going to mention it now, please be nice. There are going to be people with different opinions than you. Be nice to those people. Second of all, I'm only talking about the opening minutes of A New Hope. So yes, you can have arguments talking about how Darth Vader is better in later movies, stuff like that, but that doesn't count to what I'm talking about here. It's not relevant. I'm only talking about the, the very entrance of Darth Vader, how he was first introduced to Star Wars. Keep that in mind. For all that being said, let's jump in to the opening scene of our recap, how to fail at creating a friend and villain, a new hope. So the opening scene of Star Wars begins with a smaller ship being consumed by a bigger ship. And you see these men, we figure out their rebels, holding guns up, ready at, against this door. And you can tell that there's something behind that door that they were like, anticipating. When the door opens, you see the stormtroopers come in. Complete white armor. In a way I can say, yeah, I can understand why you could make an argument for those. But the only thing is, they can't really shoot well. They shoot down a couple of them and they capture the rest. Then we pass on to Princess Leia as, as she's putting a message into a droid. We don't quite know what the message is, but we'll, we'll figure out later what it actually is talking about. But again, that's not about this scene. It's not really important. Move on, right? She gets stunned and captured. And now you get the meat. Dark Vader. Dark Vader has a deep voice and seemed to have a hard time breathing. We we figure out why in later movies about how it's because of his whole body's burnt and all. But for right now, all we know is there's something wrong with his breathing. That's the opening scene that we're going to be talking about. But before I get into explaining why this doesn't work, I want to quickly explain something else. As those who've been following my channel for a while would already know, I try to make these educational videos educational and not just my personal opinions but i will have to mention because this has so much to do with my personal opinion with some of this topic that i'm going to bring up my personal opinion get that out of the way so we can continue on with this video without having the problem of just thinking this too much of my opinion so my opinion is basically i don't really like dark vader i think he's not intimidating i think his hard time breathing just reminds me of asthma and it does, doesn't, and that doesn't come off as intimidating. And so I don't find him intimidating. I don't find his costume intimidating. I find him as a clunky robot monster. So, you mean, not intimidating. So with all that being said, so what can we learn about this on how not to set up your villain? So let's start out your villain itself, your main villain. In this case, why does it not work? Well, he's this robot type person with, with heavy breathing problems. He doesn't walk intimidating or anything like that. So it makes it so... And, and there's no problem of having this so your main villain has disabilities, but that's like, if you're trying to lean on that person to be the intimidating part, it's not going to work. That's where you come into the point of why you want your villain to have an army behind them that really like hammers home this idea of this being a threat. And that's another problem with this. The stormtroopers, they are not intimidating. They barely hit their targets. No stormtrooper kills any of the main characters or any characters really in general in the whole series. In this opening montage, you have like a couple of the rebels dying. But besides that, for the rest of the story, there's barely any. And with this opening scene, there's only a couple of people who died. And most of these stormtroopers are getting shot down easy beasy, lemon squeezy. So you don't just have a villain that is crippled, is not a threat to himself, but then you have his army is also not a threat meaning so that now you have zero threat. With Gladiator, how Commodus is intimidating, not just because he can fight, but also because he has the Roman army behind him. So there's this intimidation there because of that. In this case, there's no intimidation going on. Thus, there's no threat. Because Star Wars is such a fascinating series for me, I will one day go through and why do people find Darth Vader to be intimidating? Because I can't see it. But I do understand that some people do. I also want to make a video eventually 
and I've been thinking about this ever since, I, like even before I started the channel, it was like one of the first thoughts I had was eventually down the line when I have a, enough time to put to a real serious video, dissecting the human mind and why do people like Star Wars? Because I've never liked Star Wars and I want to understand you guys. You guys have mentioned in the comments why you guys like Star Wars, but it's also in just in general, I'm going to like eventually try to take a bunch of time researching and just understanding, watching re watching reviews, watching interviews, and just trying to figure out why do people like Star Wars? Because I've never understood it. Just really watching through the movies and just trying to write down every little thing that could cause people to like it because I want to understand this. From a filmmaking standpoint, a lot of filmmakers take Star Wars as a big example of how to do filmmaking and I don't see it because the writing is terrible. If you guys really want to see those type of videos, please consider subscribing. If you guys haven't yet, like this video. This has been the Movie Night Review. Peter Weary, signing off.